it's actually my wife's fault. At the time we met as undergraduates in a small school in southern West Virginia, um, I thought I was going to go into genetics, but we took courses there that covered arthropods, and she got very interested in millipedes. I was a lousy millipede collector, and there would be nothing in my jar but spiders. So I pulled one out and said, well, let's see if I can figure out what spider this is. So I worked on it for a few hours and came up with what I thought it was, took it in to the professor and said, hey, is this one of those? And he checked it and said, yeah. I said, well, that was kind of fun. Let me try another. And I just never stopped. There are 110 families of spiders uh, currently recognized. Um, one of those, the Oenopidae, um, are, are the goblin spiders. And they're currently the subject of um, a major international project called a Planetary Biodiversity Inventory. The goal is to, is to take what we thought was the most poorly known family of spiders on the planet um, and bring the level of knowledge of that uh, group up to certainly the best of any spider group and, and hopefully uh, to a level where the information can really be used um, by other scientists and by society as well. Goblin spiders are very, very tiny. Uh, most of them are under two millimeters in total length, um, but they're very, very intricate, and because of that, they've been difficult to study. Most of my field work um, prior to this project was concentrated in the south temperate parts of the world, so I worked extensively in Chile uh, and a little bit in Argentina, uh, quite a bit in New Caledonia, New Zealand, and Australia. As you know, there is a biodiversity crisis. We're losing um, significant proportions of the diversity um, that exist on this planet in many cases before we even know they, um, they occur. For example, in Chile, where I've found something of interest, but let's, I might got back to the lab here and discovered that I had only males of that species or only females, and so I've needed to go back to the, those sites to try to recollect uh, additional specimens, and in many cases, um, you go back to the, the very same spot and you realize, uh, <clears throat> used to be a forest, not there now. Spiders might not seem to be um, particularly important to your daily life. Um, they are, actually. If there were no spiders, mm, there probably wouldn't be very many people either, um, because without spiders to control the insect populations, we'd have no food. The insects would have devoured all our food supplies. There have been um, a succession of serious spider workers here for about 75 years. When I came here, uh, starting in the 1970s, my emphasis has been on, on uh, increasing the, the global representation. Every day I come in and I look at stuff that no one on the planet's ever seen before. And that's pretty cool.